Hello, Michael. This is June. Oh, I have to remember to be quiet because otherwise my MacBook gets really mad at me. I am so excited that it is Tag Tuesday. I always look forward to Tag Tuesday, so hooray, here it is. Um, I really love these questions. This is so exciting. So here we go. <clears throat> what is the best word you have made while playing Scrabble? I'm going to be honest, the only good words that I've ever made at Scrabble have been when I have cheated playing Lexulus on Facebook. <laughs> I'm so bad at Scrabble. I really ought to be good at it because... I'm pretty verbal, but for some reason, man, Scrabble, just not my game. Um, so I used to play Lexulus, and sometimes, not all the time, but when I was really stuck, I would use one of those Scrabble makers. There are, like, things online where you can type in the letters you have, and it'll give you words. I use those occasionally. Um... I'm not going to lie. That doesn't speak well of me, but I did it. Do you play any online games? I really don't. Not so much. I mean, I used to play like Scrabble type things, but just not really. What is your favorite chick flick? Here's the thing. I don't watch chick flicks. I don't like them generally. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm a Jurassic Park Jaws kind of girl. I just don't, you know, the whole love thing, not really my bag. For me. I mean, the closest I would even get to a chick flick would be like the Princess Bride. And like, I don't really think that that counts. Um, so I guess I don't have one. Uh, what do you recall being your first purchase with your own money as a kid? When I was a kid, I had an allowance and, like, money that I would get because I would do chores. But I remember distinctly my parents being very particular about, this is not your money, we gave it to you. Or, like, stuff like that. So the first thing that I can remember buying was actually my first album, which was Ace of Bases, The Sign. <laughs> so that's the first thing I remember buying. I'm sure it not it is not really the first thing I bought with my own money, but that's what I remember. Favorite TV show and why? Law and Order hands down. Man, I love that show. Really any iteration of that show, but especially Law & Order SVU or Law & Order Criminal Intent with Jeff Goldblum. Um, I just love them. I love it because it's like, it's like a little movie. You can watch it and then you can walk away. Because one of the things that I like better about movies than TVs is that when it's than TVs. I like a better than TV shows is that when a movie is done, it's done and you can walk away. So I tend to really like television shows where each episode stands on its own and there might be a little bit of an overarching story, but overall, like you can watch one episode and then walk away if you want to. Um, have you read any good books lately? I don't read as much as I should. Like really, like I can show you what I am reading. Right now I'm reading Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman and it is pretty funny um but I don't read I don't I just don't read that often I need to get back to the habit of reading it's good for me if you could choose your own name would you keep it or change it to something else I don't say what my real name is on the internet because it would encourage people to make fun of me so instead I call myself June so I guess in some ways I have done that like I have picked my own name June the homemaker so but in real life, I was always trying to choose a nickname as a kid. I was obsessed with having a nickname, like call me something else. People always said that I looked like a Beth or a Sarah, if they had to guess. So, I mean, I guess if I had to change my name, I would pick one of those things. Um, but no, I mean, I like my real name pretty okay. Uh, what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy is, actually, this is the perfect time of year for this question. Um, Robin's eggs are my favorite kind of candy. I love them. I like really I'm having a problem because I've been sitting here like <laughs> eating them apparently that's how you eat things um best drunken story listen I am not proud of it um but a significant part of my college life was full of drunken stories I have never peed in the street although good job Buck I used to crawl under bushes a lot <laughs> like my friends my friend Julia loves to tell a story, which is typical. Uh, she looked out the window of her dorm one night and she saw me sort of weaving up the path because, I mean, I had had a few. And she saw me look at one of the bushes to the side of the path, get down on my hands and knees and crawl under it. And then her phone rang and she picked up her phone and it was me and I said, hi, Julia, I'm under a bush. 
<laughs> and she said, yes, I know. I saw you just crawl under it. Good job. And then she came down and found me and took me to the diner and I made pancakes and a fool out of myself in front of my ex-boyfriend. Um, so yes, and that's typical. Like I crawled under bushes a lot. I don't really know what that was about, but I just love nature apparently when I've been drinking. When you were a child, what was your biggest fear? Are they still fears? Okay. So I definitely was afraid of the dark. That was a huge one. I did not like sleeping in the dark. And I don't know. I was kind of afraid of everything. Like I had like chronic nightmares as a kid and they still come back sometimes. But now that I live on my own, I'm still afraid of the dark, but mostly because I watch too much Law and & Order and I'm afraid that somebody is going to like come and murder me. Like I'm really afraid of that. Um... Like, most of the time I end up going to sleep anyway. But, yeah. So those are my questions. This was an awesome Tag Tuesday set of questions. I really liked them. And I can't wait for next week. Okay. Bye.